Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Why'd you bring me back here? Oh no. I'm just kidding. I'm having a fun time. <laughs> so now the first part of the series has aired and there are many, many comments. Oh, I haven't looked. And uh, probably shouldn't because... Oh you're... no. If you, well, if you read the comments, there's probably a risk of spoilers anyway, uh, just going forward. But, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are like, what are you doing? Why would you do this? Like, it's incredibly, incredibly negative feedback about the game. Uh, not the, not the series, but the game. Like, there's not, there's not a lot of, like, people sticking their neck out for it. <laughs> and I, I was surprised just, I'm like, wow, this game really does have a reputation. Like, there's a lot of comments on that. Like, my, I told you before, like, my, my, my metric is, like, I look at the Steam page, I'm like, oh, it's all, weird. This game's, like, weirdly infamous, it feels like, but it only has 100 reviews on Steam, so I figured it must not have that much reach, but then, like, but then I put the video out, and there's so many comments, I'm like, okay, it seems to have some reach. <laughs> some people know about this game, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not as involved in the in the community as you, but, like, I've never, I didn't hear, but I don't, I didn't know this game existed until you showed yeah. it to me, so. I do have one other bombshell to drop. That came up at the same time that I found out about the uh, the voice actor. Yeah. Which this this is also damning, but I forgot to mention it before. Uh, so there's one song in this game by Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale. Yeah, I think you did mention that part. Yeah, I mentioned that part. When the game was coming out, Toby Fox tweeted about the game, saying, "Hey, this new game came out. I can't uh, featuring a song that I made. I can't wait to play it. I'm really looking forward to it and stuff." Like. And all that, like that kind of generic post you make when you, you know, like, ha, I kind of contributed to this project, and it, and he probably thinks it looks like a good game because it really does look like a good game, and all that. So he deleted that tweet. Oh <laughs> no! That is a bad sign. <laughs> he deleted the tweet. Toby Fox seems like a, a like a smart-minded. That's pretty nice individual. That's pretty rough. And so his just... his. Disowning of it is kind of like a very bad sign. <laughs> just straight up deleted the tweet. Anyway, I just stumbled into this park just now, which I guess we haven't been to yet. This is the so this, this is the, be, the this one will be next. The overdramatic poor town of this full is the town of where poor everyone people. attacks us when we talk to them. They're really painting <laughs> like people who live in poverty in like a really negative light. <laughs> yeah, we met future robber, but I'm um, future cop. Have you met future robber? Why aren't they fighting? Give me your wallet if you want to live. Damn. It's because they actually benefit from each other as a symbiotic organism. Ooh. Symbi symbiotic? <laughs> symbiotic? I've never heard anyone say it that way before. Ah. yippee ki -yay. Wow, I did it perfectly and my hand wasn't on the controller. <laughs> I fucking like, <laughs> 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 forgot about these. Keith, I'm gonna beat this child. Keith was fixing his quaff. Oh, also, somebody mentioned this. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That'll take some practice, but that's how you get higher than before, I guess. Ah. Nice. Pressed X. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. I don't think there's any tech in that attack. <laughs> I don't think there's any sweet tricks for me to pull out with that one. Mm. Ah. I, I got hit by bullets. Smarts. I littered the record in the wrong direction. No! Kiat. Kiat. It's like one of the best sound bites. I like yeah, um, the Link one. The Link one. And I really like in Smash Brothers when you do Ness's, Ness's taunt and he goes, Okay. Mm he just goes, Okay. Mm PK fire! PK fire! Okay. And then show me your moves. Obviously, yeah, like, a classic. Yeah. Ooh, concentrate mode. Nah. Yay! Fuck. I know the record scratch is supposed to be like a punishing sound, but I like the way it sounds so much that I almost like like the, when you fuck up because I like yeah, hearing it. Hit me. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> pew pew pew. I didn't hang out with that weirdo. Glad she's gone. Whoa, she ain't coming back. That's what Randy said. Randy's my mo my mom's new boyfriend. I hope he becomes my dad. That's not usually how that goes. Oh no! His punches don't hurt as much. Oh no! It's not. It's not the removal of abuse. Just a different abuse. Uh. Then again, I don't feel as much love in them either. Oh. Oh my god. Every gosh. line got worse. That. Yeah, that got. Every single line got worse. No. 
His punches don't hurt as much, but I also don't feel as much love in them either. He hit me, but it felt like a kiss. <laughs> what is that? He hit me. You ever heard that song before? I don't remember. But it didn't hurt me. Can we talk to this guy already? Uh... Are for someone? And that strange girl hanging around the graveyard? I wasn't allowed to talk to her. Yeah, the vampire kids. Oh yeah, we always yeah, talk to this guy. So I talked- I found I this guy- I should've stayed in school, I like how- <laughs> that one I, makes me laugh Yeah, she should've stayed in school. But I missed this guy over here, which admittedly- He's in a weird spot. The camera angle, like, hides him. And also, he looks so much like the other kid that I actually think I thought it was yeah. him. Yeah. Go fishing. Look at this beautiful pond. See, when, every time I see those little- those little rings, I always, like, think of it fishing. Like, it looks like a music stylization. Like a Beck video. <laughs> 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 I'm probably thinking of that because, uh... Uh, Beck did the soundtrack to a game called Sound Shapes. That was, like, a mu music visualization platformer. I only like a handful of, like, Beck's actual songs, but I, I have a lot of respect for Beck as a composer of music for other mediums. Like, yeah. he did all the Scott Pilgrim music. Oh, yeah. Or he, like, he had a big hand in that. Goth kid. He's got this whole B career, like Trent Reznor. We came here hoping to find quarters. Then we realized that money is a social construct created to oppress us. Got any change? I think they're both the same character, functionally. Uh, in, yeah. in theory also. I don't think I can talk to them separately. Could all use Money's a little a change. Well, Yay, he probably killed people. Who? The Smash Mouth. Why? Because they, they did a fucking COVID concert. Oh, I thought you meant... There was already an article saying that there's over a hundred cases already connected to that to that concert. Oh. I thought you just meant in his free time. No, like, <laughs> with, like with a gun. <laughs> like like he's just known I for thought, being someone. I thought this was like a weird little yard over here that you could walk into with a tree and stuff that's connected to this area, but it's just like a cliff. The camera's just fucking with me. Who built this town and Who why did they build this? it this way? Who terraformed this? There's a lot of directions around This is here. the worst Animal Crossing village I've ever seen. What? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's locked tight. What a loser. You're never gonna make friends like that, Gate. So you're gonna be great at social distancing, unlike Smash Mouth fans. I it mean... Was it, was it was sad, because I, I shouldn't need the Vlogbrothers have been doing, like, every single video is a lyric from, Sma from All Star uh, for, like, months now. And they're just going through the entire song and making videos themed after every single lyric. But now they're like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like this anymore. <laughs> Why did you have to ruin the fun for the Smash Mouth by existing and making bad choices? Meanwhile, respectable artists like AJJ stay home and do at home concerts yeah. for their fans because they're wonderful people. Yeah, they keep doing 20 minute concerts on, the, on their YouTube channel. They, keep, they do some really nice covers. Yeah. My brothers are playing in the park. I'm not allowed to join them because I'm a spaz. Aw, oh, man. Also, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Go away. That's sad. I, I, I hate when people call kids, like, spazzes. Because yeah. I think that's such a mean thing to say. And it really sticks with people. You're not acting correctly as a child. We're not really going to give you much on how to fix that. But we are going to shame you and We're gonna... make you feel insecure. Here's some unwelcome. Ritalin. <laughs> Yeah. Separate you from everyone. And this won't have any long-term repercussions at all. You know, no, yeah, I, w I watched the AJJ videos and I was like shocked by like... It's just... It feels... Like the performance just feels like a, like you're listening to a CD. And you're like, how the fuck? Well, no, I mean, that, that's <laughs> just that's how they sound. Like, yeah. I've seen them live and they sound exactly how they sound on their CDs. And that's, that, when, you, when you do like folk musicians like that, yeah. it's like there's not really a lot of variants you can they're have. So they really present what they're... Like it's what they are, especially yeah. if they're like a low, like kind of lower budget. Like some people are so consistent, and then some people are Karen O. That makes me sad. I feel <laughs> I heard the same thing about uh, Modest Mouse too, which breaks my heart. Yeah. But I'd go see because I like Isaac Brock. Because so like there's much. a there's a documentary about uh, the the Pixies called Loud Quiet Loud, and it's the reunion tour, and like they they literally cut from performance to performance of the same song, and it's like it's almost like it's it looks like it's just the same performance going because they're just so consistent. Uh, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, like, his his live at Albert Hall you got CDs. The stuff. Ooh. <laughs> you got the Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please tell me you got the stuff. So do you have it? 
uh, say yes and then hand him a chili You're chili a dog. Liar! Come back when you actually have it. Oh, he's like looking for a specific item. Is it going to be called the stuff? The stuff, <laughs> or will it just actually be? I might. I mean, for all I know, I might attack somebody with Bob Dylan CDs at some point or records. I would be kind of. I don't know if I like the incorporation of that into this game. It'll be, it'll be like it'll be. He'll be called Dob Gilliam. <laughs> they have to change the names apparently, like Sergeant Salty, Sergeant Salty Bets. What, what was that? Ed Edo Edo Ranpo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Edward Ranpo. Or something like that. It's a. Uh... So we were reading the new Junji Ito book, and he uh, does adaptations of this guy. That's this this like previous century Japanese horror artist that took his name. Uh, he, from he's just Ed a writer. Rowe. Yeah. So he doesn't. He didn't do art. He just would uh, write uh, horror horror mystery. Yeah, he wrote, he wrote horror stories, and he took his name from Edgar Allan Poe. But he like but he, he localized it. Yeah, it's through the it's through the Japanese filter. So it's like Edward Ranpo. There's really surprising cliffs here and there that I'm not ready for. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm still up here. Like I said, they don't really make sense. <laughs> this road just goes off a cliff. We talked to these two people, right? Is the smoke we, Yeah, we talked to both of them. Yeah. You need to go to the cemetery, right? Divorce isn't so bad. Oh, I just don't understand why he's a conductor. Like, that seems like an odd stylistic choice to be like, I'm going to have a divorced guy over here. But I'm Because art make him... doesn't pay. Stay in school, kids. Honestly, it doesn't. We don't put enough emphasis on, like, the arts in school. It's considered, like, it's taught to us that it's an invalid, like, route to make money. He looks like he's really frustrated, because, like, he he got one of those cartoon ties where when you pull it, it goes, like, and it like, rolls up, but it won't work the right. The prank ones. Yeah. Frustrated parent. Yeah. My daughter moved to this low-income commune six months, six weeks ago. I'm just here helping her settle in. I wish she would just let me pay her Frankton rent. It's like you don't you don't belong here with the riffraff, darling. Just let me pay your way forever. I mean, the offer is nice, but like, I, and I like I love my dad, but I I I do not. I will do my best to never ask for money because I think yeah. it's just a you know it's a respect thing. That's the grave we saw at the beginning. Weirdly, I associate it with being well, can, a Can you interact route. with it? I think I want to go to this graveyard first, maybe. I feel like we're going to go that direction, ultimately. That's my favorite character model, is Angry Girl. Angry right Girl. Her. Oh, no. Oh, adolescent smoker! Oh, no! Who the hell are you? You looking for Carrie? You have to beat that out of me. That sounds like don't, don't don't threaten Most me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, game. Is it normies? Is this something about normies? I it think. might have, yeah. All the text is unreadable in this game. <laughs> Ooh, there's an ambulance driving by. Someone's dead. Is it you? Um, inside. It's really hard to get that many hits in that. Without just fucking up more. Whoa! She's built like a smoker. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I just to think of a uh, like Left 4 Dead. <laughs> like she's built like a smoker. <laughs> she's built like a smoker. <laughs> like that's unfortunate. <laughs> Very spindly and full of holes. <laughs> These skulls are screaming at me, as skulls do. <laughs> yeah, I. Screaming skulls are just a common theme. I don't like how he looks like he's chewing as he's dodging. <laughs> he, mm -hmm. like, moves his mouth. And I don't like that. Hey! The combos are growing, but not enough. I hate that. I hate that kid so much. I hate uh -oh. all these characters. You hate young me? <laughs> 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 I mean, give yourself some credit, Keith. <laughs> Yeah, at least I didn't grow up into being Alex. Like, it, like this could have been me. I definitely like her the best, obviously. Obviously, as if like everyone could just fucking guess. As guess. if there's other choices. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many, there's so many main characters to like in this game. So many options. Hello. Of course, I like the cute mean girl. Like, duh. Only correct option. She's also the only one with a job. 
<laughs> That's true. And it's a cool job, kind of. No, I think it's a cool it's job. One of, I think it's one of the jobs that sounds cooler until you get it. I always thought I'd be really popular if I worked at, like... Because we used to have a, a, like a, uh, an arcade in town, and I actually really wanted that job. I thought that'd be cool. I could just watch the Street Fighter machines, like, and, like, have little little kids come, like, get prizes for me and stuff, and just chat with, like, the local riffraff. But then also I thought I'd do really good if I worked at GameStop. So back in like when I was first looking for a job, I was like, you guys at GameStop should hire me. <laughs> I would do really well. I've known people that tried to ask out the GameStop girl, and I'm like, no, 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 no. She's, yeah, she's paid to smile at you. Yeah. You, you take, you're take getting signals that are not correct here. Do you want to make a pre-order? Because they, they, <laughs> they, they, get, they, get, uh, they get counted how many pre-orders they make. Do you want to pre-order the new... Uh, yeah. Fire Emblem coming out? Oop, I'm getting worse at some of these things. It, it's, it's a little much, like doing the same, the same mini games over. Well, I mean, over. with games like this, hopefully you get like more variety as like time Like different goes abilities. On. Yeah, if you want to know about Carrie, you should talk to her brother. I think they live south of here, but their house is always locked by a big fancy gate. Mom says you need to do something pretty bad to have a nice house like the Mansers got. But it's a it's a house here. Yeah, but it's the nicest house here. <laughs> but it's here still. You people you say that about like mansions, <laughs> usually not like the kind of nicer house in the really rundown zone. Carrie Manser. That's the girl that's dead. Yeah. Satoru Iwata. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Why would they do that? I mean, it's just paying tribute to somebody who died. I know. Why would you put him here? Why would you put him here in this game? And also here. Andrew Allenson and Brian Allenson who worked themselves to death on this game. Don't put a Meta cute joke. Cute joke next to Satoru Iwata. R.I.P. Becky, a great friend. J.F. We're happy you're dead. <laughs> uh, that sounds just, like personal. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is JF? JF, you're not liked. <laughs> Your lies, Regina. She let out a sigh. The cat had a rapies. She eventually died. Now they're being cute. That's not even a good rhyme. The one, if you go to the haunted mansion one. in Disneyland, they have like graves outside, outside in the in the queue, in the wait queue, which usually you don't have to. The line usually doesn't get that long anymore. No, but the gravestones are very cute and funny. Da Dandy was a masculine man who eventually took his own life due to society expectations and naming conventions. Well, just change your name, idiot. Choices <laughs> were made there. Jerry Kaufman, a humanist. Kaufman. Project offering. What? Oh, they offered to, like, the, it's a sacrifice for the game. <laughs> Maybe. Kaufman. <sighs> There's a lot of famous people. I wonder if that's a specific one. The graves seem to say 7878. Eight. Or specifically 8877 eight, if you go left or right. The ones that have Roman numerals Do on them. Do you think that that is going to matter? Maybe. I don't think so. Why are there weird numbers on them otherwise? I think they're all the same number. I think the ones in the back just look. No, I guess, I guess, no. It's no. eight, eight, seven, seven. I thought maybe it was like an optical illusion. Yeah, because of the pixeling. Mm -hmm. It's all pixely. Pixely. He said, she's, this is south though. Maybe it is a really nice house. It, it was that person. You think that's south? Well, this, I mean, I miss, I don't know. Dude, I'm the worst at directions. Could, I mean, it could be. We don't know if we don't know if up is north. That's that's usually an assumption. But in a game like this, where they, they the set only, your camera angle, I would assume so. Yeah, but this is the only site. This is the only, the only nice house I see. Oh, with a nice fancy. Um, I, but there's there's fences everywhere. What the hell are they talking about? But that's the closed one. Maybe if I go like towards the camera, I eventually find a new house, and that one's actually really nice. Maybe it's an entire dungeon we go around in for hours like the last one. A lonely roadside memorial. The name is washed away from the rain. How? Yes, under it's under an overpass. <laughs> how would the, how would the name how would the rain wash the name away? But all the 
Like, they don't rewrite the name, but and they keep those, bringing flowers? Yeah, what are those things on the bottom who, that are who, still there? What dick broke the frame? Broke the frame? Somebody, the, little, the little frame down there, somebody broke it. It's cracked. Who, what dick? Oh, it is. <laughs> Who's doing that? Anyway, I'm just gonna run into the darkness now. <laughs> Take me. But that last one said having, like, clean air, clean water, clean food for you and your family is top priority. Like, make, make having clean air and water and food. For your family of top priority. Well, good luck. Good luck here in in <laughs> California finding a place for you and your family with clean air, yeah, and clean or, water, yeah, and clean food. Yeah, almost everyone I know uses a water filter. Oh yeah, you know you need or to. Or just buys water. Our, like, we're not even our one, water. We're not even in one of those cities where you can light your water on fire. Our water tastes like gasoline if you. Don't filter it. It has a very distinct smell and taste, which is frightening to us. Those hamburgers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, sure that, I'm sure they're rocks, but they only look like hamburgers. Once again, I'm gonna make this reference because it makes me happy. But it's the I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> Was he here before? Say, bitch, I'll pay charge interest. Uh, he's robust, a he's a robust alcoholic. alcoholic. You're looking for the Mancer's house, huh? Dude, he's tweaking. Why? Did she give you a key too? Do you have a key? My wife says I need to get rid of the key if I ever want to see my oh, daughter gosh. again. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! But I'd rather die than let someone else see my beautiful leggy candy. Oh my gosh! There's a lot going on here. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> Uh, shit, it's a complex input. He just fucking yeets a bottle at me. Yeah, that's what robust alcoholics do. Yeah, he's very robust. Uh, he's tweaking. And also, okay, uh, why? Candy, thanks, 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 thanks. I don't know who you are. Why did you give that man a key to your fucking house? <laughs> 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 Like, dear lord, I look at that person and I say, I don't think I'm giving that guy with the, like, sweaty, dirty wife beater and his tweaking self and his robust, robust alcoholism, which is expensive, <laughs> by the way. That's an expensive hobby to have. Uh, I don't think I give that guy a key to my house, okay? Ooh. Risky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Whoa. I miss. Go to sleep. So I can beat your face. Do you want pictures of that? Is this fucking a uh, poke snap? Is he like blinded and sleeping now? <laughs> what effects are on him? I can't tell. Uh, I just want to, I just want to press different buttons for once. But I feel like they're mostly not very helpful. I'll just keep beating his ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Critical damage. Oh my god, this is getting harder. Miss! He's, he's <laughs> the boss, obviously. Miss! <laughs> uh, skills? Panda. Uh, no, I'm all out of PV. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's hard. It's kind of, okay, I, I need to stop playing with buttons and just murder this man. Fuck. <laughs> Getting worse at this. Doe. She's reliable. <laughs> she has an incredibly easy to use attack that just always works. Oh god. Gotta admire that consistency. I'm so fucked. That's so fucking hard. I... <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's try not to die now. <laughs> uh, Ambrosia. Sup? So you just point to the sky and get yeah. Ambrosia. Yeah, you heal by doing the, the Freddy Mercury pose. 
It makes like a little whip noise, and then it's just a weird awkward pause as you wait for something I to happen. I gotta look up what ambrosia is again, because I, if I remember right, I think it's something that I think looks really gross. <laughs> I want to say it was like a popular 1950s Dude, he just dish. spams this now. Hey! Oh. Yeah, I was correct. Ambrosia is an American variety of fruit salad. It usually contains pineapple, mandarin oranges, orange sections, marshmallows, and coconut. Maraschino cherries, bananas, strawberries, grapes, pecans. It can also include mayonnaise or dairy ingredients, whipped cream, sour cream, cream cheese, pudding, yogurt, cottage cheese. If you look at these, if you look up pictures of ambrosia, you're like, oh yeah, I've seen that in like Edward Scissorhands. And like it is- Edward Scissorhands? No, I think they actually do bring it. Like I'll show Keith a quick That's picture. Like your go to. It, like you see, 1950s housewives holding these in in like magazines mm. with their little cute dresses, and like, you're like, oh yeah, I know what ambrosia is. It has the vague consistency of those like macaroni salads you buy at st at stores. Yeah, I think that's maybe why I don't like but it. I but I think it's dessert. It's supposed to be dessert, and I don't yeah. like that affiliation. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, this is hard. Hey! It? Yeah. 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 Fuck. <laughs> I'm not getting worse at it. This guy needs to die, he's too robust. He'll make a robust grave. <laughs> this you is need it, a I robust think. hole for that robust body. I always feel like, is there a more specific timing I'm supposed to do for, like, a crit? Or, like, is there any kind of skill to her attack? Is there any- is there any nuance to it? All oh, the other ones are such a test, and this one's like, can you hold down for a second? Wonder wow. His- his goatee is darker than the rest of his hair. Yeah, that happens. I know it does, but it's just- it's odd. Yeah. He's- he's distressing looking. I don't like looking it's at so him. It's so perfectly framed, where it's like, it's exactly this width. Like, it's shaved so precisely. And his, uh- like He would- he just wanted to have a frame around his mouth. His tank top really doesn't hide his- his man pecs. No, there's a lot going on here. You really interrupt- Yeah, someone gave this man a key to their house! You really give the feel that you inter interrupted something here. No, Fine. I think it's just you his day to day. beat some sense into me! <laughs> Why do you have that me? voice? I don't remember the previous <laughs> voice. My wife think- I already- I already forgot whatever- <laughs> however I did whatever voice you it was. You gave him a devious villain voice. He's more like a- like a glute. <laughs> My wife thanks you. They live in the house that's fenced off. I don't think they like visitors. There's just something breathy going on. I want to go see Candy. Uh, camera? Yeah, camera, follow me. Oh no, the game's broken. <laughs> okay, 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 he scared me. <laughs> I was like, I don't want you to have to fight that man again. It just wasn't coming with me. There we go. Let's go break into this house. Via the well. That's how you get into houses. Just go slithering down the well. This grass is a wall. <laughs> it is rested in one budge. What a loser. I knocked, but no one answered. Perhaps I should try the side Isn't door. Isn't that the side door? That's what I thought. Because the, uh, that seems like the front door, because that's where the pathway leads. <sighs> Well, I guess this is the place. So, do we just knock? You already did. You sound like an asshole, no matter what you say. <laughs> like, you're just your tone, buddy. Let's give it a try. Worst comes to worst, he's sleeping and we wake him up. No, worst comes to worst is he's, he's sleeping and you don't wake him up. Yeah, and then you never know if he's actually there. Yep, I've had that happen before. Uh, I had a recording session with Andrew. I think this happened twice, actually. And, uh, he was a reasonable walk away, so I'd walk to his place instead. I'm like, I'm gonna get some exercise in today. Uh, and then I get to his place, and, I'm and then I sneak in the, like, gate that you have to get in through via other people trying to dri drive in because he wasn't answering, like, the number. And then I go all the way to his, his uh, r place, and I'm knocking on his apartment door, and he just... I'm like, for 10 minutes, I'm just kind of trying to knock on his door and he never comes. And I try calling him and so on. And then I get, then I'm just like, 
I guess I'll walk home. <laughs> oh. And it's like he uh he just like took a nap or something and just straight up like slept through <laughs> the time I was going. Like, yeah. Well. I've been learning recently that I'm. A Whoa. How are you guys? Rory. He who looks, also has oh my a striped gosh. shirt. He looks like okay. What's his name? What's his name? He looks like n n no, not near. In, in oh in um or in Death Note. He looks like the guy from Death Note. No, obviously L? not not L, but remember later they replace L with Nier, and they, but Nier has a sidekick who likes chocolate. Oh yeah, and it's blonde the, guy, the weird candy twin. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know his name at all, but he looks like him. What a weird plot point. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Great show though. That's the, the the whole the whole second arc of the sh of or, or whatever you want to call it of the show is just like strange. <laughs> I love I do love it it's still. Like, oh, it just keeps going. I watched that <laughs> show from beginning to end. And I, even though I'm sad about a lot, of, I just fucking spoiled some shit. But <laughs> I just, I uh, no, I, I, the ending is glorious, and I love it. This guy's a lot to take in. So we have a character. We have a dude with a red plaid shirt. And then we have a dude with a red striped shirt. And then we have another dude with a red striped hoodie. I feel yeah. like we have a visual where, theme. Where here. are the polka dots? <laughs> where, where is it? Where is the graphic tee? Well, he's already wearing Oh, one. yeah, he has one under his plaid. That is so typical. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm Alex. I come from the internet. Oh, shut that's, the that's fuck the, That's up. the most threatening thing you could I say. I would shut the door in your face. Yeah, uh, this is an attempt on your life. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm afraid of that. And <laughs> I just shut the door. Yeah, no. That That is the response that, that people would get if they just showed up. Well, that's like, scary. That, I'm like, this is, this should be illegal. <laughs> you should not be here. One sec, come in. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Why? Incorrect. Incorrect. Call the police. <laughs> so hey, yeah, I'm Rory, but you probably figured that much out on your own. You fucking creepers. If not, why would I be letting you into my room? That's not. Don't. Still don't do that. <laughs> this is, this that... logic don't connect. Doesn't flow. No, no, no. Anyway, what are your names? I'm Alex. This is Vela and Michael. No, I mean, what are your screen names? That's how I know all of you, so that'll be more beneficial. Oh, I'm SNES Man 99 No, you're not. the first time I've had to say that out loud. Uh, Michael is Veriformer, and Vela isn't cool enough to go on the message board. <laughs> She's being safe and smart and not going on that she, message board yeah. full of fucking creepy losers. She's not dealing with you weirdos. SNES Man? That's the best username you can come up with. One of the most popular video game consoles ever, and then a year. All right. He can't have been born then, right? Veriformer, like instead of Terraformer. What year does this game take place during? Oh, yeah, it's 1999. Remember? 1999, because it's Y2K. Oh yeah, this game takes place in 99. So he named his, his username was named after this year, even though he registered years ago. Because you definitely can't connect the SNES with 99. That doesn't flow. Hey, aren't you that girl? Well, oh, you, she, she brought up the picture of the blonde His name's lady. Mello. Yeah. His name's Mello, Mello apparently. Yeah, Mello, Mello from Death Note he, looks just I like this guy. Looks just like him. This is a ripoff. The one from Windway 87's post about the girl who's ripping up holes in reality in his town? But Mello has swag, and this guy's got no swag. Yeah, that's true. I am... But don't believe everything you read on the internet. You boys take that stuff too seriously. Hey, I invented lying on the internet, so no need to warn me. <laughs> no, you didn't. Anyway, I'll have my eyes on you. I invented lying on the internet? Don't need you ripping a hole in my basement with your mind powers or whatever the hell it is you do. How are you going to stop her? Yeah, I was going to say, if she if decides she can to do that. do that and you think she can do that, then what What would you do? I got my eye on you, Cthulhu. Uh, y'all, doll, you try anything, I'll scream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lose my mind and go insane because I can't comprehend what I'm seeing and I'll... It's like, what, it's, like it's, it's the biggest or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, then just remain on my good side. So, Rory, tell us about your sister. When did she disappear? My sister, she vanished about three weeks ago. Went to school one day, left school, and now she's gone. No crazy elevator video of her either. She's just gone. Oh, did your parents get the police involved? No, 
My parents aren't exactly what you call proactive. They aren't the types that jump to their kids' defense when they're in trouble. Do you think hmm. it would be okay if we talked to them? That's a uh, <clears throat> extreme. Yeah. Our 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 child has gone missing, presumed dead. Anyway, what was that? This one this one done. Usually, <laughs> usually, okay. So not to like one down, one get, to go. Get dark, but like usually, if if that happens, which occasionally it does, usually that always means that the parents murdered their kid. Yeah. There's been like a lot of cases where they're like, so why didn't you go to the police immediately? And they're like. Oh well, and they try they, they try to think of some really good excuse as to why they waited a week to and, like report they, their kid missing. They took that long to think about waiting, a, make, even making an excuse. Like it happens all the time, and that's like the biggest red flag ever. Because yeah, if they were thinking about it, they probably would have called the police to cover it up. Well, I just like, thought to cover their tracks. I just thought they ran away because they're being difficult, and it's like, well, you but you waited a week though, and they're like. Uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> well, we needed time for the body to decompose. <laughs> we needed to find a place to put it. <laughs> Duh. No, that wouldn't be okay. It's complicated. Are they ghosts? I see. Well, who else knows that she's missing? The town now. We made sure of that. This is extremely serious. A teenage girl goes missing, and someone needs to be doing something about it. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, okay, you're right. Where do we begin? <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care either. You had to be convinced of this? He killed her. <laughs> yeah. Well, my sister Carrie started acting weird a few months back. She was having trouble with some girls at school, but nothing she couldn't handle. So one day, things get really weird when I find her in the attic. She was holding some of her baby toys, stuff that's been boxed up for years. I asked her what she was doing, and she said she needed them for gifts gifts for kids who had less than she did. So then she left. That's nice. She took seven things with her. After she vanished, I went around looking for her and I found her toys scattered everywhere. See, that's so specific that now you're gonna have to go find those seven toys. Yeah, it's like a quest. Why would you say like How would you, seven things when, when, exactly? When did you have time to count them? Anyway, the weird thing is each place a toy was found, an accident happened there shortly after. Anyway, this is all fascinating and all that, but are you better at combat than the other striped shirt guy? Because well, are we are we adopting him? Sucks, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Look at him, <laughs> dude. I this asshole. <laughs> I, after like, I just was looking up pictures of Death Note, and it just reminded me how beautiful the art is. And I look up and I look at, up at this, and I'm like, he's not nearly as cool looking as Melo is. <laughs> Death Note art is so pretty. I could hang po posters up of it. This guy's a loser. I'm just sad he's pass, not and Death the Note day, now. He was killed when a car hit him. What? Because he went for the toy? <laughs> At an underpass. Like that one with the with the. the are these little... like are they like oh like, they're like Final Destination toys? Like each of them's a trap for another child to die, and just to fill up that graveyard with seven deaths. It's a it's a prophecy. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that sounds like a coincidence. But then at a train station, a woman was robbed, and the guy who grabbed her purse ran into the tracks and got hit by, not the train, but a cop car that lost control and plowed into him. That's kind of a funny twist, though. Why does it sound like Yuri of the Wind? Anyway, this old lady had a heart attack and died Yuri the next the day at the grocery store right on top of a sewage cap where another toy had been found. He's a... Uh... A YouTuber that had a series called Bullshit Creepypasta Storytime where he would read really bad creepypastas and he would make sure to read them exactly as they're written, including all of their, uh, sp like, spelling and grammar issues and so on. Like, he'd find the worst creepypasta stories and and just sort of, just sort of read them with this voice. And he had, like, this nasally kind of sort of voice that this guy has. And I'm like, is it... Is it him? <laughs> like, I've, I've played a fair number of games where just a YouTuber just shows up. Like, oh, there they are. I like, a. Uh, cool. <laughs> there's, like, a, a series I like to watch where this guy has other people read fan fiction, but, like, verbatim. So, like, with, with their spelling mistakes and everything. Mm -hmm. But he gets guests to come on and read, like, Shrek, like, <laughs> fan fiction that's yeah. really smutty, and he has them read it. And, like, the spelling errors are, like, egregious, and it's always really funny. And there's the famous podcast, My Dad Wrote a Porno. <laughs> and they read, yeah, they read his, his Yeah, porno. they discover that his dad wrote a porno, so they have, they're, like, oh, reading gosh, it chapter by chapter. Oh, gosh, that would scar me forever. Every episode. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. I'm actually not gonna. I'm gonna try very hard not to now. <laughs> 
So each of these toys is cursed. You can't tell me all of that is a What's that face? He just got a chin all of a sudden. Yeah. Did anything happen to you personally when you went to these locations? Were you the one who found the toys? I, yeah, yeah to both. But let me, okay, let's just go to the places. I think it'd be best for me to show you myself. I think the issue is he sounds like him, but also he's basically explaining a creepypasta to us. So even more, so, of, oh, so so even like more, more I'm like, it's totally him. It's probably not him, but it sounds like him. When we finally left Rory's house, it was evening. You could have just... I could have just seen that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, as I say, <laughs> it looks like it's nighttime. Whoa! <laughs> what? Uh-oh. <laughs> and somehow it's darker now. <laughs> Despite that in the sky. It's like, uh, what is it? In Majora's Mask, where, like, the giants push the... At the end, they all like push. The oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. It just sticks that sound over and over again. <laughs> like, <laughs> why is it burned into my brain? I feel like it's been like two years since I played that. Yeah, they like push the sun away, or the moon. I mean. Yeah, they all. You have to get all four of them. And they to, like wake up at the same time, and then they'll all come in and catch the and moon. And they, they stop the very scary, very, very scary moon. And they go, oh. He yeah, reminds me of those, and then also Starman. I have this from... theory about physicality and the nature of our universe. We all do, friends. It has a lot to do with the temporal nature of our bodies. Whoa. Basically, I think we all have a set number of days to be in our bodies, and they usually end with our bodies being destroyed. I mean, technically, it does happen. Yeah. It's just you can you can argue whether or not it's pre yeah, ordained. Yeah. You're or... just retroactively applying, like it was, and it was always meant to be that way. But like sometimes you do have a number. Rarely, we leave our bodies without dying. What exactly happened here, Rory? What makes you say this? Okay, forget that for now. I can't explain it right now. Let's continue the tour. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. But yeah, the the giants from Majora's Mask, the Starmen from Earthbound, and then they remind me of uh, Ev <laughs> from the aliens from Evangelion. It's like a weird mix <laughs> of all those things. <laughs> The angels. I still haven't seen Evangelion, so my exposure is still just the H Bomber guy Sherlock Sucks oh, video, did, did which has a picture of him strangling himself over that like this hellscape scene that I think is from the ending or something. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> and it's like it's a picture of H Bomber guy strangling H Bomber guy. <laughs> it's like I don't know what's happening. What's what's that? Um, oh my gosh, what's his name? The elemental composition of the human body can be looked at from the point of view of either mass composition or atomic composition. Okay. Adam's Armas. I mean, checkmate. Yeah, but mellow. You can either. So it's basically him saying yellow, you can mellow. look at the composition of the human body. You can either you can either look at by weight or by how many atoms are in your. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking weird thing to say. The adult male human body is approximately fifty-seven percent water, and water is eleven percent hydrogen by mass, but sixty-seven percent if you count atoms. Most of the mass oh. of the human body is oxygen, but most of the atoms in the human body are hydrogen atoms. What we love to forget is the soul when we talk about our makeup. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe in souls in a religious sense. I like to think about the soul as our mind. Have you ever imagined what it would be like if we successfully performed a brain transplant, but when the person woke up, they were exactly the same? Like if you replace somebody's brain and then with a new brain and the new brain person was still the old brain person. Or is it like if you if you put the the new brain you put the brain in a different person's body and then they woke up like with the personality of the original person. They weren't clear enough if they meant they they weren't clear enough about whether or not we were following the body or the brain with, with this example. Yeah, but yeah. I assume they mean we're following the body because following the brain is what we would hope, basically. <laughs> I, I, was, that's what I was assuming we're following the brain. Yeah, because if you're following the brain, it's like, yes, if I transplant to a new body, I would like to be in the new body, please. Well, that's the, the intention. It's like, like, what if, but what if you change the brain so and they're Keith, still the same if person? If Keith and I, like, switched brains... And then nothing happened? <laughs> would would Keith be Stephanie and would Stephanie be Keith? Now? Like, if you had my brain, would you... would would 
I, would I just be yeah, me and your I body? Think his, I think his example is the idea that what if no, we didn't switch? See, I don't like that. Like we switched our, <laughs> I don't like, want what, that like, one. Like, what if we switched our brains, but then nothing actually switched, and it's like we're still our, the same people? They'd be like, well, what does the brain do? Like, the brain is a physical part of the conscious, but the moment it's in a new body, the old soul, brain, or whatever, enters back into the body, and poof, we're back to being ourselves. Do people really see, know that the that. brain contains our thoughts? Uh, I think more so than we can <laughs> think that they go anywhere else. I don't know. We really jumped straight to like the super bizarre part of like 999 where like we're just playing this death game full of puzzles and fucking June just takes us aside and starts rambling about pseudoscience with no prompting and we don't know why and it's and they're doing it to set up like plot points that are going to happen in the game but really inorganically. Like, he's doing that, it's, I think. Either this, either that or this is completely a dead end that doesn't go anywhere, but... Well, I think we're this, developing his personality. Yeah, but like him, like him going into this tangent is... strange. Yeah, people, like, I think people get frustrated with me when they have arguments with me like this, only because I'm so, uh... I don't believe any of this stuff, so I'm just like, well... The biology of this would would lead me to believe that this would happen. I go yeah. straight for the biology aspect. I never even think about spirituality or religion or anything because yeah. I don't believe in any of it. There's, so, there's, so I'm very like, I don't know. People the, get frustrated with. There me. is a case to be made for the idea that our consciousness exists in more than just our brain. I but think, I the think answer it's our is not our, our soul. I don't believe. <laughs> it's just like our. I don't say I don't believe in a soul, but I kind of yeah. don't. It's it's honest. the idea that like our brain exists more like like our brain isn't our entire consciousness because it's it's how our it's brain kind of, interacts with the world like it's a part yeah of, it, but it, but it's, it's also like in our nervous system and other parts of our body like make up elements of who we are and with if you lose those parts of yourself then you do noticeably lose part of how y your brain works and thinks and your personality. Well, because your body's just a conduit for your brain to take in information. So it's yeah. like, so the, the way your body interacts with the world is how your brain is able to perceive it. So I think, like, so I do think, like, those things are all attached. You can't tell me, like, your brain on its own would be the same as your brain in your body because yeah. you're able to, like, take in sensory information. It's like we used to be tempted to interpret humanity as being in the heart, like the entire person was in the heart, and then we learned about the brain more, and then we, so now we're tempted to think that the entire person is in the brain. But that's also not true. Our, co our consciousness is like the, is the composite of like our biology and our interactions with the in world. Our and our microbiome. It's like it's like the the way that our, our, the life happens around us and how we interpret it, how we interact with it, is a part of what our consciousness is. Is it's like a multifaceted answer, but I don't think it's anything like magic, <laughs> which is like it really this is like where I yeah. disappoint everyone because they're like. They're like, but don't you want to talk more about that? And I'm like, I mean, you can talk about that with me. I'm just going to be really kind of, you're not going to like my answers because <laughs> they're going to be, they're going to hurt your feelings. Yeah. And before I'm you tell me about rough. the science behind it, I know you're right. <laughs> I just think about this from time to time. See, I'm the person that talks about the science. I'm not religious. I'm just spiritual. You're a bit off on both your science and metaphysics, but you're onto something. <laughs> this fucking gesture she makes. I do like the... <laughs> Time to stop talking. <laughs> Vela didn't shoot him down. She didn't mock him. I wanted her to. It's like she's the only good person in this game. I wanted to watch her kill him. <laughs> it my would have made me laugh. The rational part of my brain was already thinking of a variety of corrections to his ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're Alex. <laughs> but after this week, I knew pretty much anything was possible. I can't do it here. Okay, let's go to the next spot. I'll try there. I can't do it here. Wait, what is he about to do? He's gonna do some magic. He's gonna do some magic bullshit. He's gonna do some magic bullshit. Yeah, maybe they're maybe they're setting up his power. Probably. What are you gonna do, boyo? Are you gonna are you gonna rub the seven mart? Sometimes it feels like my sister is still in her room upstairs. And I don't mean to suggest that I forget that she isn't there. It goes beyond that. There are times where I feel like she's physically there. Like, in the same way I can feel my foot is attached to my leg without actually having to touch it with my hand. But she isn't here right now. There is one more place we can check. Let's go back to the overpass. Would you like some Dutch angles? I think we're going to the water tower. We've already discovered that location's there. 
Oh, I have to go up to him for him to continue his path. But, like, I'm taking the short path, so I, like, skipped ahead. And so he was... He, like, stopped to wait for me. Oh, he doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, like, escort him. He's like, excuse me, this is my adventure? Like, playing Ico. Come with me, blonde boy. <laughs> I like, you know, I thought, like, I liked playing Ico, but... Everyone's like, oh, Yorda, Yorda's annoying. And I was like, I thought her AI actually wasn't too bad. I didn't hate her. Yeah. Especially for that, how old that game is. I still haven't played the two big escort games. This is right. I think I can do it here. I have to get around to both Ico and Resident Evil 4. With Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Okay, someone lift the sewer cap with me. You want to <laughs> go down there? Yes, I think that would be a good idea. Boys, give him a hand. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. Oh, hey, okay, this looks so like... What I'm about to say might sound crazy, but I can prove my theory down here. We're going to find pizza down here. Look at this fucking Nintendo Nickelodeon. I know, this, th this is like, yeah. <laughs> We're, it's like slime. Nickelodeon gack. Yeah. I think my sister's soul is down here, so let's look for it. She was a shitty person. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think your jokes are down here. Okay, no, this will be fine. Let's look for her. I just want you to prepare yourself that what you find down here might not be her. Whatever, but I know it's her. All right. Interesting. I think uh, Uber. <laughs> what's her face is is humoring him, which because I think she knows that he's going to show us something important, and so I think she's just like something crazy. I think she's just like a uh, she's like all right, whatever you say. Let's Oops. see where this goes. You know? I think it just says some friend you are. Yeah. If you say if you no, say, if you say no, it looks like a serve bot. It's funny because you you could say that either way. You could say. Michael's now some six. friend you are like that or some friend you are like you you could have a connotation to that either way yeah I feel like I don't know I don't know how much the positive version of that sentence would come up though <gasps> some friend you are I was a little behind on leveling oh, was, yeah I was gonna say it's been a while since you've been to your brain dungeon yeah like a whole hour <laughs> but you fought a lot of people since then hop 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 yeah an entire town I murdered them all one by one. Mm. Oh, we're back to the good music. Yeah, like the yeah. When you play like RPGs like this, what what, what do you like to lead your character with? I don't play a lot of turn-based RPGs, so I'm not always clear. Well, I, I mean more so like, um, okay, I guess I was thinking more so like, uh, I was thinking like Fallout, when you like your goat test, and you need to pick like... Oh, uh, if it's a, if, if it's a, if it's a game that has stealth systems, then it's always like, dexterity, stealth, lock picking. Lock picking is top. Yeah. But then I was do speech. Because in, in those kinds of games, I want to I want to be able to break into everything and access every secret. So I want to be able to hack and lockpick, and I'll deal with shitty combat skills if I could just go everywhere. See, I, I never do. I don't do stealth. I just do like the ability to kill everyone, <laughs> so I don't have to have stealth. What's in here? It always fucks me over though. Mug, mug shot. shot. You like throw coffee mugs at people. <laughs> do, 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 that would be very do, do, rude. Right, right now I'm just picking whatever has the most points. I'm not entirely sure what the system is, but sometimes you get a bunch of points. So I'm just picking the one that gives me a bunch of points. And also strength every time, because I just want fights to end faster. <laughs> yeah. I'll I, try to always pick strength. I was like my, like my big tanky characters. For me, I, 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 I'll sacrifice, I'm the person that sacrifices speed for like hitting and maybe defense i'm like a some like tyranitar nonsense i don't need what? no glass cannons oh he's... i'm all about thugging it out i can't level it yet yeah there's some kind of confusing <laughs> system going on here that keeps giving me like five points or whatever and so whatever i see that i'm like i guess i'll pick that 
Yeah, I don't. I still don't really get the system, but. Yeah. But then, in, in like a. Uh, oops. I meant to save it a new slot. Oh well, too late. You <laughs> failure! You should know better, professional. I misclicked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't care what you uh, do. <laughs> the, um. But then, like a Dark Souls game, I'll find which. Which weapon type I'm specializing in, be it a strength weapon, a dex weapon, or like spells or whatever. And I'll pretty much just pump like the one stat that makes me do more damage and the one stat that gives me more health. Because in those games you have the Estus Flask that heals you, and if you can get it off, it heals you. And every time you use a, fire, a bonfire checkpoint, it gives you all of your heals back. So the big thing is having a enough health so that you can tank hits to be able to ever heal. Because if you die in one hit, that all of your healing is pointless. But if you have just enough health to, to not die very abruptly, then you get to fully use every heal every time you're fighting a boss. Mm. And then, so that like that that 20% increase to health functionally becomes like a 700% increase to health because you get to heal like 12 times as opposed to dying abruptly while not having used to blow your flasks. It's, it's like vaguely related, but there's like that one ability in Pokemon where you're left with... S Samurai Turtles. Of course. Of course. S Samurai Tortoise. Of course. Like you're left with like one HP no matter what. So that move is really great because if you can throw out a Pokemon that is left with one HP, it gives you one extra turn. You can sacrifice them and you get an extra turn to heal everyone. And so you know they're gonna die in the next hit, but like you're fine what? with it because you could just heal everyone. We get to bring all four people in. Did you not think you're gonna be able to? No, I'm, I'm used to three player parties being a limit in a lot of games. Oh no way! So I'll say I, there's I I a lot of that. I have to switch them in. These fights might get really long. <laughs> what if it keeps going? What if you're gonna have like eight people? Look eventually? at those screaming little shits! Look at their indignant little mouths! I don't <laughs> they like got a, this. They got a little mouth. This is gross. I don't like that their their idea of a parody is just to like slightly change the words. No, no, no. I think I like I think that's funny. I like, like when they, shows and stuff do that where they, they change both words to like it's close enough, but it's like I don't know, like Samurai Tortoise, Ninja Turtle. I feel like, like the more cute. they the more they do it, it's going to be more disappointing because they already went from Sergeant Pepper to like Captain Pepper Captain, or Captain Salt, Captain or something. Salt or something yeah. like that. It was like something really like oh yeah, Colonel I get it. Salt. So they so they went from Ninja Turtle to Samurai Tortoise. It's like mm. no, I'm mean, not gonna lie. Mm. I, I like when when things do that. Well, let's stir some shit up. <laughs> so you're you're like you're full of puns. You don't like you don't like a Samurai Tortoise, but you you make all your little that's not a pun cheeky jokes. That's not a pun. Yeah, but it's in the same it's in the same genre of like I said no anchovies. Oh my gosh. Uh, puns take more work than just I'm gonna pick a Jason word. No, but, I mean, puns make m take more work, but they're in the same vein of like of like cheeky comedy. I think. Also, this guy's definitely holding like a end of the world. I know. I know. Side. I was gonna say, see, like Rorschach. Like, what is his Rorschach? attack? <laughs> Rorschach. Yeah. <laughs> the people look up and say, "Save us!" And, and I, I say, say, "No." <laughs> Did you know that the body and the soul are different? <laughs> <laughs> I kill dogs. <laughs> Well, it is, you know, it is Y2K. I wonder if his sign's gonna be about the end. Oh, did I mess up pacifism? Is that what your sign you just says? Protect an ally. That's my attack. Well, in the. I don't have an attack. Man, I keep, I, this whole episode has been me making references to everything. HPPP swap. That's kind of a cool. Yeah. Whatever. He's like your technical he's character. Like a, he has like an extra health bar. But in a. In... I'm gonna protect Alex. Alex. What, what does the sign it's, say? It says open your eyes. It's the first part I saw. In Earthbound, one of your characters prays. Like that that is your like that's what you do is you pray. So it's it's like it's kinda like your it's like a version of pacifism. No! I hit a, I hit a nine before. Now I'm just chasing that high. Go to shell. Oh my gosh. God damn it. See? See puns. There that, you go. That is a pun. That one's actually it's, it's Open gonna, your eyes to this I can't I have to play game. To the, the sign of the times? Open your eyes to the sign of the times. That's a terrible sign. That is. That's not good at all. Two hit c c combo. Right, did you say right in the manhole? Yeah. Gross. Yeah, yeah. That's assault <laughs> of a distressing kind. That's not consensual. I'll save Michael. you, Michael. 
I have to check between episodes to see if it's who I think it is. It's bothering me. Oh, the guy's voice? Yeah. No! He just pulled out a, Oh, he just pulled out and ate a... Uh, well, he didn't really hold... He kind of held it out like a card. But he, he, he held out a slice of pizza. It healed him for one, so he definitely wasted his entire turn. He would have spitefully tried to murder us, but instead he healed himself by one health. He's dead. Gnarly. Doo doo. Found 1175. Is that just like what he had in his pocket? He's gonna buy uh, pizza. Today. Yeah. Can I go back? I kind of want some cheap pizza. <laughs> it's too close. <laughs> yeah, that was that. Mm -mm. Here we go. I just remembered. I was like, how's I? How does health work in this game? Because I was like, how did? I haven't really used that many items. I was just trying to remember what was going on. And it's like, right, drinking fountains heal you. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to go to the drinking fountain after that boss fight. Heal thyself, it says. I'm, damn it. <laughs> ah. Yeah, water fountains aren't a... Uh, <laughs> I feel like you're more likely to get a little sick. You ever, like, go to a water fountain and it's just, like, stuffed full of gum and, like, wrappers and stuff and people just, like... And, and then it doesn't drain right because it's just full of grossness. Yeah. I haven't used a public water fountain in an incredibly long time, I think. The last one I used was at work. When I, uh... And that was like an office water fountain, so I it take seemed fine. I Kiki for a walk, she really likes water fountains. Because there are certain ones we go by that have a little, little dog fountain on the bottom. So you push the button up top, and then it, like, spruits out, like, some water for your dog down there. And she always drinks it, even if it's, like, clogged up and gross, because she just walks... She, like, it's, like, her favorite part of walking. She sees the fountain and gets excited. We have to go stop next to it. And she has to drink out of it. And it, it's, like, always disgusting. It's usually, like, full by the time I get there. It's, like, I don't have to push the button. It's just clogged already. And she'll just, like, drink out of it. And I'm like, ah, that's gross. But whatever makes you happy. She really likes the one at the dog park. Oh. I forgot to go into each one. Oh, yeah. I feel like I didn't do this last floor. Like you said, this is a really, like, out-of-the-way leveling up system. Yeah, I've ready to commit to each one by going through the door. I feel like on the last floor... I just didn't- I thought I just assigned each door and then left. I don't remember going into them. Did I like fuck up and not get my stats? I, I don't remember. You settled into the mine dungeon quite well. Have you met the librarian? I miss Marlene. Oh, I guess you wouldn't. She's on floor 15. There is a girl who minds the place all by herself. Tell her the crow told you to come read old memories. She will show you the rest. Before you go, I feel like I should warn you about that girl. Ask whatever questions you want, but remember, she may not answer. That is a choice people have. Yeah, this is, well, I feel like I don't need to be preempted on this idea. There are things I cannot say, and things she certainly can't. However, keep asking questions. Ask as many as you can think of. That will be your job. Whenever you're not in the dungeon of the mind, you are free to do as you like. I think that's what goes without saying also. Yeah. <laughs> Understand. Sure. Asking a lot of questions is just good advice on being a good human being. I also don't think that bombarding someone with questions in terms of conversation is like the most polite thing to do. No. If you want to be a really good listener, you should ask questions when somebody talks. Oh. Uh, LP toss. I guess the idea is I must have, or, yeah, I guess when you get to the floor the first time you spend your stats and you close all the doors, but then after that you... You then, uh, level, you level up to access the next floor and do the thing, do the whole thing again. So I must have already bought them on that other floor last session? But I feel like I customized them, which is confusing. 
That's so, okay. And we can go back and look after and no, see. No, I don't, we can't. We can't go back upstairs. Oh, no, I just mean, like, in the footage. We can, yeah. like, you can beat yourself up about it later. No. <laughs> if you wish to level up, you're going to have to suck it the fuck up, bruh. How's it like to have all your mistakes recorded for forever? Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> People also remind you of all your mistakes forever. <laughs> then you get like 17,000 videos and you just hear about them all simultaneously at random intervals. Do you really have that many videos? Uh, I, I lose track constantly, but it's definitely like... I think I passed 10,000. Oh my gosh. I don't remember. Jeez Louise. I can't remember. That's... People still listen to you talk after all this time? I mean, time? nobody's watched all of them. I... <laughs> They just see random chunks of the maw, the mass. Let's see. That song is stuck in your head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I have 14,000 mm -hmm. uploads. 14,376 at the time of this right now time. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah. All right, tinfoil hat time. Tinfoil, tinfoil hat time. Let's go. Go. So I was looking at the Y2K actors that we've encountered so far, and here's Melody Ehrlich, who plays uh, Vela, and not really Ehrlich. doesn't do much. Ehrlich? Doesn't have a lot of roles yet. She plays an ex like a, a small character in the OA that I don't remember, and I watched that show. And she plays Teen Girl in Legion. But then the big fucking big moment here, Andrew Fayette. Immediately, I fired this up, and I was like, "This seems like I might be right," because <laughs> and I was because the show <laughs> Stephanie like he's known for Y two K being in the lower in a minute show and did you know gaming? And I'm like, "Wait, did you know gaming is all YouTubers?" Yeah. I'm like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." I was just, I was kind of like half joking, like, "Is it like it's just, wow?" He sounds a lot like a YouTuber, but you know, it's probably. Some voice actor from somewhere, like whatever. And there's a lot of YouTubers that do yeah. voice acting, so it's but like once one of the see, chances. But once you see Digital Gaming, you're like, wait a minute. And uh, yeah, it's, it's down here it says Lauren a minute and Digital Gaming as himself, narrator Yuri of Wind. I'm like, motherfucker, it is Yuri of Wind. It's fucking. Hell of Sonic.exe. Wow, I didn't time that. It just happened no. to be exactly that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I just had it running for a moment earlier. <laughs> it's fucking Yuri of Wind. I recognized him. I did it. Good job. And Keith. this is my round of applause for me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Provided by Stephanie. 